Mike check, Mike check, Mike check, one, two, Mike check, one, two, dream big cuts, Joe Breezy the Barber, YouTube. Got my boy D-Rock in the building, one of my old arena football teammates. Um, and we're going to do a, a mid-taper fade today with my boy D-Rock. So I grabbed my, my Babylon FX Golds first. I mean, it don't it don't matter which ones I grab, whether it's the Babylon or the or my wall detailers. But for this one, I, I grabbed my, my Babylon first. And on this one, I kind of I art I put a little art in the uh, the guideline at the bottom instead of keeping my guideline my ball guideline a straight line. I just went with an art to create a little burst at the bottom of the fade. Uh, D Rock D Rock's wavelength is at a, a one guard close, so we're gonna work our way around his head with a one guard close all the way around. We're gonna make sure we keep on pushing our clipper. We're gonna push our clipper. We're gonna comb. You know, we're gonna make sure we lay everything down at the proper level. And like I said earlier in the video, um, it doesn't matter which trimmer I'm grabbing to lay my ball lines in. Uh, sometimes I grab the Babyliss, sometimes I grab the uh, cordless detailers. Uh, for the back line, I grab the cordless detailers. All right, so right here, I'm gonna create my first line with my Babyliss gold clippers. And you want to really mirror the same line you did with the ball line. You wanna create that same shape with the, uh, the clipper when you lay in that first guideline. And um, right now, we're going to blend that right out. Um, I closed the clipper halfway. And I'm going to keep on closing my clipper until that guideline that I put in disappears. And then we're going to move up and put our next line in with the one guard. We're going to put that one guard in the same way. And then we're going to take that, take that line out as well. All right, here we go with the one guard. And we're gonna try and stay, you know, pretty much with that same shape we made with that that first ball line that we created originally. And that's just to keep consistency through the fade. I'm gonna keep working with this one guard to uh, thin out, thin out this bulk, just so the fade the fade will fall properly. From dark to light, we want it. We want that transition to be really smooth. Um, so you know, we'll do what we gotta do, and we'll start to close that clipper up, little by little, working our way down to create that smooth transition. And I'm doing my best right here to use the corner of my clipper to thin out this bulky area. Um. And I'm trying to stay away from the curve of the lineup. So as I move further towards the curve of the lineup, I'll angle my clipper and just use my corner just to stay out of that front area so I can keep it dark up there to make that lineup pop out like I need it to. Now I got my half guard on here. Just clean that up a little bit at the bottom. Nothing too much. I had a halfway halfway close, and then I closed it all the way. And now we're ready. We're ready to rock and roll with the other side. We're gonna do the same steps. Same steps that we did on the other side. Like I said, I tried to mirror that ball line. Now we're gonna start to close up our clipper to erase that bottom guideline that we created with no guard all the way open. I 
once you start to close that clipper um, little by little, you'll see that that line towards the top of his ear starts to just vanish. Pretty much done blending it out, but on the top of his ear, you can see that dark spot right there. This is one of them uh, you missed a spot moments. So I missed the spot. So what I'm gonna do is open my clipper back up and start working out that area closest to uh, his ear. I'm gonna start to lighten that up. Like I said, you miss it, just open your clipper back up and work your way back down through your steps from open, middle to close. Now, just like the other side, I got my one guard all the way open. And I'm going to start to work that out. Yeah, right now we just moving and grooving, flowing through the haircut. Um, and just clearing out bulk pretty much. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to use the corner of my clipper towards the front so I can keep that curve dark in this haircut. And as I uh, close up my clipper here, that dark area will start to get lighter and lighter as it blends in to the bottom lines that we created with our no guard open and our one guard open. We're gonna make those two areas meet and that'll create our blend. Cleaning up the bottom of this fade a little bit more with this half guard. Now I'm at the bottom of the fade, no guard. Just trying to hit a few little spots that I see. All right, I already blended out the back. I blended out the back with the same steps that I, I use for the, for the sides. The FX's, that's why I love them, because they hit straight hitters absolutely we're gonna do the same thing on this side on the neck line we gonna just work our way up. Well, work our way down from the top, the back of the ear, and work our way down to the bottom of the, the neckline in the back. And right here, I'm trying to keep this line over the ear as natural as possible. So, you know, I'm just gonna use the corner of this trimmer you know what I'm saying? We're going to give it some, some detail. We're going to make it pop out, but we don't want to dig into it too much. We just want to keep it natural. Now we're about to get into this lineup. We're going to make sure everything brushed down. Uh, we already applied some spritz to it. Hit it with the blow dryer. So we're going to dig in with these FXs real quick and see, see what we can come out with. So I started off in the middle and I'm working my way to the right and then I work my way back to the middle just to get, get a nice crispy line on this side first. Then I have something to work with, you know, working my way back to the other side. 
trimmers like these, like the FXs, if you got them, if you got them lined up properly and gapped right, you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta do too much. You really just gotta sit your trimmer down and let it work. Just sit, sit the trimmer where it need to be. Make sure the hair is in place, laid down right, and uh, you know that trimmer gonna do what it do every time. So now we're gonna lay this curve, man. Like I said, I wanted to leave that area dark, so it'll create a nice, you know, a nice curve, a nice clean line. Like I said, that trimmer doing what it do. Ooh -wee. It's nice and clean. And I'm going to work from the middle back to the first side I worked to just to connect the two. The two sides from the middle. Start in the middle, work my way to the right just a little bit. And then start working my way back to the left so we can connect all the dots. I mean, it's looking pretty clean. Cross that line up, it's looking crispy. I see one little spot where it's bubbling a little bit. Uh, but I'll make sure I hit that spot before I'm done with the cut. Then we're gonna work on the bar on this other side. Making sure we working straight down to the corner of that eyebrow. Man. It's looking, looking pretty solid. Looking pretty solid. Line up, look clean. Face cleaned up. We're working these FX trimmers. Got the lines popping out. Man, we got the butt on the shoes with the brains blowed out. All right, so I had a little bit more bulk in this area right here. In the temple area that I, I needed to um, clear out real quick. So I took my one guard all the way closed and made sure everything was laid down. Now I'm going to go up in there with my um, my one and a half guard. I went in there open first. And then I closed it. I'm just trying to thin this area out. Appreciate y'all for sitting through this video, man. Um, anybody who's liking my videos, subscribing to the channel, dropping comments, I appreciate y'all. Um, hey, man, it's 2022. We starting this thing off with a bang. You feel me? We're going to keep working. We're going to keep these clippers on. We're going to keep showing up. We're going to keep grinding. You know, the grind don't stop. This thing came out clean. I appreciate my boy D-Rock sitting through this video. You know, getting this footage with his boy. Appreciate you, D-Brooks. Getting this razor work in. making sure we this thing clean yes sir all right so this the before and 
this the after, man. It's Joe Breezy the Barber. Dream Big Cuts 2022. Let's ride out. Appreciate y'all.